How's it going guys, it's Nozzy here and today I am playing some more Kerbal Space Program. Yes, we're beginning at Muna Explorations, which is pretty good, isn't it? Yes, we're sending a communication satellite there, which is what we are doing currently in this rocket. And we are going to be sending a rover there next, um, after this launch. Which is, uh, it's going to be good, it's going to be good indeed. Um, yeah, as we're saying, this is a different launch stage to last time as you may see it is um it has not got the rapier engines it has lvt 45s just for that little bit of extra thrust as we go to uh go to the uh, earth earth as we go off into the distance as I am recording this commentary, I have just finished recording a new Minecraft series. So you're gonna have to wait uh, wait on for that, aren't you? Yes, yes you are. So uh, it will be up shortly. It'll probably be up tomorrow, considering when you watch this. Comment when you watch this, actually. It, it, I want to know when people are watching my videos. Uh, just leave a comment, say like with the date you watch this video on. Because I want to see when you watch it in conjunction to the actual upload itself. Pardon me. There we go. Burning pro grade towards the moon. I don't need a maneuver node. I'm too pro. Joking. Joking. Before any people start calling me cocky. I'm not pro. I haven't even landed on Mimus yet. So I can't be that pro, can I? I have sent a rover to Juno though. And Eve. I have landed a rover on Eve. Well, technically it didn't land because I couldn't get the periapsis. Um down low enough and I ran out of fuel but I have learned that you you need it more efficient to do your burns earlier on because it doesn't require as much delta B so I am going to be doing another mission to Eve shortly hopefully um anyway it is the same satellite as last time but we're just going to jump cut now as you just saw and we're going to enter the SOI of the Mune. Yes, Mune, because it is an umlauted U, not a double O. What was that? Fast, fast, fast. Hold on a second. I'm not sure. It's... No, I thought it may have been my mic, uh, my mic coming off, because I have had a few problems with this blue snowball, actually has not been the most nicest new mic it has annoyed me quite a lot a hell of a lot um in fact so uh, yeah but i i'm i'm getting used to it now i've fixed it does uh, the audio quality sound better like if you if you have seen any me any of my old videos tell me like comment leave a comment ask it, telling me if the audio quality is better or worse because there's no going back now because that mic is gone but um oh no it, i can't reach out i think personally that it sounds better i do think it doesn't sound as tunneled if you know what i mean but anyway here is my derpy rover mark one yes i call it the derpy rover because you'll see that i made a mistake which i didn't realize until i was about to land on the moon yes look at that just look just just take a moment to look and I would like you to take your hand, take your hand, your right arm, hand or your left hand, it doesn't really matter. I want you to turn it over so your palm is facing upwards with your fingers all together. Open it out so that your palm is facing the ceiling. Elevate your hand, colliding your palm with your face, your forehead, not too hard because it will hurt. There you go, you can't say I haven't warned you. And just when just just softly just tap your head and go ah because because I'm really annoyed at the mistake I made and I think you you guys all deserve a, to face palm for me I I myself have face palmed dude pop poppy why why are you gonna lick your leg while I'm recording I mean I don't mind you sitting there but come on yeah you, you lie down. Yeah. Okay. Just, just lick, just lick yourself then. That sounds really dirty out of context. Yeah, you just bury your head into your fur. Again, sounding really out of context and uh, really wrong in the wrong context. So cute. So you're so fuzzy. 
You're very fuzzy, aren't you, puppy? But you're not a fuzzy bear. No, I don't want to carry on going into that song because of is it ple plagiarism? Ple plagiarism? Sorry. Because my my cousin is doing a uh, a degree at university in performing arts or something, I think. And um, he writes like for coursework, he writes plays and things. So like he has to be careful of plagiarism, which is saying if you were in a play, for example, you were writing a play about a cat. And you said that the cat sat on the mat because that is a rhyme. It's classed as plagiarism, which is kind of like copyright. I think if if that is an incorrect definition and you know a correct definition, just comment it. Because I only learned about that this morning when I was talking about the copyright strikes to my family. Ow. And uh, yeah, so that was a bit annoying, but never mind. Never mind indeed. Anyway, we're just coming up to orbit. We've got plenty of fuel left. Uh, if we have enough, we will be able to complete our orbit, our deorbit burn. I'm I'm gonna go straight for an orbit because I like to enter the moon's sphere of influence at three kilometers per second because I'm so wise like that. And um, I'm not gonna go into orbit again. Not using the maneuver node. I don't know why. I should. You don't really need maneuver nodes, I guess. What, like, once you've been to the moon several times, getting there, in terms of getting an encounter, is actually really easy. I mean, the way I judge it is, um, I might do a tutorial or something, but yeah, I might do a tutorial on interplanetary travel. I'm going to go work on that after this, probably. God, I'm doing so much work today. I was meant to have hockey, but when I was getting ready, I got a phone call to say it had been cancelled because the pitch was flooded. So I thought, hey, first we're going to play some TF2, and then we're going to record. And I did. I tried recording TF2, but... But uh, I was doing really bad, so I didn't. I was something like seven to nineteen. I've been having a really bad week on TF2. I've been trying to play Spy, which is probably one of the hardest classes to play on CTF2 Fort. Um, oh, I, I should probably play it on Payload because I use the Your Eternal Reward, which is basically when you get a successful backstab, you uh, you immediately disguise as that and it's a silent kill as well so like if you if you say you're a spy and there was a medic heavy combo and you went up on the medic and then the, uh took out the medic you immediately disguise as him and the, and the enemy team don't see it they just see they, they don't see anything and when you go to disguise it doesn't like have that annoying smoke around it anyway so this is i think this is the corrected one i think no, this isn't the corrected version. Uh, still, you can just laugh at my failures. And then, like, as I was saying, the medic doesn't... The heavy doesn't realise, so then you go and backstab him too, which is good. Uh, but it is quite a hard loadout to play, I'd say. If you want to see it mastered, type in Arlix. Type, well, type in best TF2 player in the world. And it comes up with Arlix first. Best spy gameplay on YouTube or something. It's really good. He, he's just he just wipes everyone out it's it's, it's just amazing uh, so anyway back to vehicle assembly as we do just to um just to uh, sort things out we're halfway through the commentary well thereabouts i think we're eight minutes in or so we i did it in one time symmetry because two times symmetry wouldn't quite work so one time symmetry we'll have to do oh, God. I'm talking to my cat again that I talk to my cats too much. Anyone that came in would think I was mentally insane. They wouldn't. Th they wouldn't exactly think I was mentally stable. Unless, unless talking to your cats is normal, then which yeah I am. But if it's not, then I am not normal because I talk to my cat a lot. I like talking to my cat. She, she, she she's not very good at um at conversations though. She um. She's not. She's very socially awkward. She's quite shy, she doesn't really speak. See what I mean? Just not sane. Um and unless I say that in true cast experience. My cat, Harley, my oldest cat, he's sixteen. He actually spoke once. We were looking after a dog and the dog walked around the corner and went, Oh no as if he actually said, Oh no. Like, I don't know if it was my hearing 
but everyone else seemed to hear it. It's very unbelievable, but he did actually do it. Anyway, what you're seeing here is uh, the craft wobbling, and uh, I just didn't want to land in that crater. However, we will do some rover research on in that crater. And uh, yeah, and if you're wondering why I used a science bay, it's just purely aesthetics. It just looks better. I, in in retrospect, pardon me. In retrospect, I probably should have used the other one, but I like this launch stage. Pardon me, this rover because you could adapt it with a landing stage, as you will see shortly, or as you sure sure. She shall, she shall. Is on the she sure. Nah, can't do that. Probably just got done for plagiarism as well or whatever I was talking about earlier. Hopefully not, but anyway. Yeah, so, um, as you saw, saw in the assembly. Anyway, this stage has got barely any fuel in it, so we're just gonna drop it now, because it's just a waste of time and it was really annoying me. Anyway, fuel out, by by launch stage. Thank you for your assistance. Damn, this stage has, this stage has done me proud. It got us from the moon. And let's, let's hope let's hope it survives I'd like it to survive oh oh look look at would you look at that would you look at that it hits the ground and look it miraculously survives I didn't get a Hogwarts for nothing you know Jesus Christ people these days anyway dropping down landing without realizing it uh, about now ish yep here we come here we come Touchdown! Didn't realise it, so I launched back up again. Silly old me. This landing, I was actually sweating doing this landing. It was a really hard landing. It doesn't look hard, but it was actually hard. Too much po pogoing. Anyway, so drop her down, but we dropped the wrong way, so we used gravity to help us. Like, well, the lack of it. Anyway, get rid of that. Bye bye. Now the thing is, this doesn't really drive like a rover. You have to sort of like flip it up if you watch this. You have to sort of flick it up and it and then let it roll, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, I am gonna get we're gonna drive over to here and I'm gonna begin the outro. So thank you for watching. If you liked, leave a like. If uh, you have something to say, comment. I don't mind um, criticism as long as it is constructive, as I always say, or as I've started saying in the new year. Um, if you want to see more, go ahead, subscribe, check out my old videos if you want. Um, subscribe anyway if you want to see the new minecraft series that uh, should be up tomorrow i hope around ish so as we do every episode i just want to hire some more kerbals now um uh, is the one here called jovi yeah there is my cat was called jovi that died last year anyway thank you ever so much for watching and i will see you all next time goodbye